this time we're going to study this directional coupler. This is a passive planar structure where you can visual, visualize here the power flowing from, for instance, an antenna to the uh, generator to an antenna. And here we have this other line down here where it samples a small part of the power that goes to the antenna. It samples the power here and here. And this coupled line coupler is very interesting because you can have an idea of how much power is, is going to this uh, antenna here uh, without interrupting the, the, the main line here. We don't need to cut this line and put some, some sort of instrument we can just get an idea uh, of the power going in the main line by the electromagnetic coupling. And it's very this, this structure is very interesting because on this part number three, we have a sample of the direct power. I mean the power that goes in this direction here. Whereas on this part number four, we sample not the direct power, but the reflected power. So that means we have here a, a power that is proportional to the forward power, part one to part two, and here we have a power that is, which is uh, proportional to the power that goes reflected from part two to part one. So in case we place here two diodes in a, in a capacitor, we have a DC voltage, which can be read with a voltmeter, for instance, which gives you an idea of the reflected and directed power. Again, without any need to interrupt this main line over here. So you can see that these uh, uh, lines, this is it's a couple of lines, the goal here is to get the coupling here between these two lines. And you can see that the length of this uh, couple line is 90 degrees. So how can we do this? using FICO and using Cooks. This uh, document here, you can see here that the, the, there are two formulas basically that relate the E, which means even impedance, and, and O, which means odd impedance, to transmission lines. These two transmission lines, when they are close to each other, they have not only one um, impedance, um, characteristic impedance, it, it, they have two the, the so-called even and odd, you can take a look later on the field patterns on Poser's book or whatever. But for our, uh, uh, for our uh, focus here, for our project here, we see that the impedance of even in the odd modes, they are directly related to the reference impedance Z0, which in our case is obviously 50 ohms, and also to the coupling. This coupling here, the C, it's set in dBs, and once you say what is the coupling between both lines, you can get directly from these two formulas the even and odd impedance. It's pretty simple. So the meaning of the C is more or less like this. If you have a one watt flowing from part one to part two, let's suppose here you have the generator and here you have the antenna. If you have 10 dBs of coupling, that means you have 10 dBs less on part 3 than part 1. That means 10 times less power, that means 100 milliwatts. So if you, if you can read here 100 milliwatts on the coupled line on part number 3, that means that here, over here on part number 1, you have 1 watt, right? That's the basic idea. So what I have done, I just took these formulas and I just put here again the formulas here and I just wrote a very simple um, a, a sheet where I get the Z even and odd here just following these two formulas you can see here right you can see here this is very just an application of the formula of the formulas there and then the next step you can go to the design phase the design phase it's, it's kind of tricky if you do it in MATLAB or in Excel, but fortunately you can go here to, you go to Tools, Line Calculation, and there's this last 
option here. You just roll over here, couple of the micro strip, and you just have here directly. You type in what what are what the substrate parameters are. In our case, we just put uh, FR4 4.8. Um, we set the height of the substrate, the thickness of the substrate to be one millimeter. We set the five gigahertz to be our um, frequency of interest. So that means you can see back here that this thing works only for lambda over four. So it's it's not a broad bandwidth by, by, by default, by definition. And later on, we can just inform here that uh, we, we desire uh, even impedance in uh, an odd impedance to be 69 and 36. This is those numbers, those figures come from this computation here. You just be sure that you are following the flow of information from our design. You just take this 69 and 36, inform Cooks here, and type in 90 degrees, type in synthesize and you have what is the W, what is the gap, which a Cooks called S, calls S here, and also the length of this um, couple lines over here. It's supposed to be eight millimeters. Eight millimeters means eight millimeters means more or less 90 degrees or lambda over four for the frequency of five gigahertz. And once you have the design done here, you just go to copy to clipboard and just paste on the cooks canvas um, we just need to cook uh, uh, cooks doesn't show uh, the results the s parameter results in db it just cop it, it just copies on the on the clipboard on the canvas all the data that you you typed in i mean this is the design you just uh, performed on that tool, micro strip line tool, and here you just need to tell uh, uh, Cooks that you need the results, the S parameter results in dBs. Uh, this is the formula. You just type in dB, and here with brackets the S parameter, which S parameter you are referring to. Once it's done, I just changed the limits of the frequency, the frequency limits here from 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 the default to 2.8 and I just added more points. You just type in here, and here is the solution. As you can see, um, this is the green line is the S41. 41 here is the coupled, you see here. So how, how much power uh, couples from this part here to this part here? We used the 10 dBs, and on the simulation we have 10.2, which is basically the same. And we also have the S21. S21 is obviously, it has to be more or less 0 dB. It's a direct connection. It is the, the, the red line here. And also the S31. S31 should be isolated. It means that no power should be coming here, should be coupling here from this part. So uh, in, in, in theory it should be zero or minus 200 dB, is a very a very large negative number in dB. And going here, S31 is minus 22. And finally, we can also have the matching of the ports. We have a very good matching. This the, the blue line is S11. So we can see that our design is more or less alright. Again, a cook, a Cooks performs a transmission line model, so it takes some analytical formulas to compute this, uh, the, per, the S parameters for this structure. We can have a better, uh, uh, we can better address this, this, this problem using a 3D field solver like FICO I'm going to show next.